dear art lovers, I wait a few minutes, a few seconds. Um, if you see my live video, please uh, send me a little message, a little heart that you can understand me. Uh, sorry for my English. I'm training my English because I'm a German artist and not English uh, woman. Yeah, I wait a little. And uh, for this uh, time, I um, I uh, show you in my back um, some art. You can see some artworks in my back. Hi, hi. <laughs> Send me a little heart that you can understand what I say and can that you hear me. Ah, fine. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi. Um, now I want to start and uh, I, I send, I, um, I wait a few seconds perhaps there are some others come in and um, that they have a chance to take a look here meantime I will show you the artworks I show you here now you can see them um, this is normal at home you have not the gallery light, it's the light of the evening sun. And this is normal in life, that art is not in the gallery space. Um, art is most uh, in this um, area at home. Um, and the light is like it is at home, not like in gallery situation. And um, this is uh, uh, a thing we have um, that we have not uh, the perfect situation in at home, like in a gallery. And I want to talk to you now um, why this is uh, a good uh, a good thing um, that um, if you live with art, you have a good chance um, with art um, because when when you live with art in your home you have a deeper impression about this artwork you choose. And um, if you love to invest in art, which support you, uh, you have um, a more deeper impact in your life. Yes, now I start. I think um, others will come through and then we will go further. Okay, my name is Christine Darendorf. I'm artist since 2004 and I'm expert for contemporary painting and run my art business since 2004. Yes, I work with a gallery, online gallery, but at my atelier I have all my um, um, art business. Um, I, I have a show room and I have some spaces to show um, art lovers uh, which are best for them and they can choose 
direct. Okay, and um, about this um, managing the art business for my own is a good school to know what is very good for art and west and uh, and now i want to talk with you about art and west and um okay i i want um I want you to make um, as an interpretative <laughs> sovereignty as someone who is loving art and art lover for a long time but um, you haven't uh, choose art um, more for the main fact you love it because it's very beautiful and you want something for your home which is decoration and now i i want you uh, to learn more about um, other parts of art more than decoration although art can be beautiful although art can be um, wealthy there are other things in it and uh, these other things are the facts which are for me sustainable which are for me the most uh, important thing um, to have it in my direct um, home base and um, it's not for um, the money wealth but for the inner wealth of the the artwork okay um, now now I will give you some uh, sustainable art criteria I um, I I think they are the um, for me, they are the most uh, important art criteria. And uh, the most art criteria for me is if they nourish me. Because for me, art is something to be nourished by. Um, if I go in the nature, I want to be nourished by the energy of the nature and i want to be i want to learn more and i want to be um lazy and and like this and um if i go to art work if i go to vernissage or other places i want to learn more about the artist I want to learn more about the inner side of the artist view. I want to be um, nourished by the energy of the artist and um, the artist who can um, make me feel <laughs> high, higher in my energy. Uh, the artist which shift my energy up is for me an artist which um, um, is very in interesting and um, okay there are many artists <laughs> their work is more depressing and um, I don't know I, I don't want to say depressing artwork isn't good but I want more to say um, more important is deepening in art um, the deepening in art is not so often many artworks I see everywhere uh, they are more um, 
swallow and um, there is a emptiness in it and this is not nour nourishing me um, because I want to be nourished by art and I want to be nourished by the color I want to be nourished by the energy I want to be nourished by the theme I want to be nourished by the meaning the deeper meaning inside and um, I'm very angry if there is something like a fake in in the artwork um, for me it is then um, like a lie for me because uh, if an for me artworks always have to be uh, deepening in it uh, and not only fake okay some artists one would say they want a fake but um, I think most want um, deepening inside because uh, deepening inside means a deeper meaning inside okay yes um, I think um, you will agree about the energy or uh, what w will you say to me please send me a little message if you are has a you have a other opinion about this um, please send me a little um, note or if you agree and uh, for me um, art is a very deep part I, I would say it is like soul food and uh, but it is not only soul food alone uh, just a moment I forgot to yes um, art is something um, which nourish, nourish my soul I said and um, yes beauty uh, can, can nourish our soul but it is not the only thing um, there are a deeper meaning inside and um, I want you to give uh, art criteria which are down to earth um, um, which are wealthy for you to um, to agree with it okay um, now I want um, want to show you um, two um, different kind of um, artworks I made and um, I will show you the difference between them and then uh, talk a little bit about the difference and um, the inner side of the the artworks okay or if you have a question you can question uh, send me a question or you can give me a little heart or feedback if I am when I am good um, it's good to hear <laughs> you understand what I want to say it's loud enough and it's uh, enough of the um, light it's good with the light but I will um, show more light now because the Sun is uh, setting and now the uh, color is um, other no. okay Perhaps you are sitting down in a lazy position and um, then you can see this magenta colored um, canvas. It's not so um, good with the light now. 
because the sun is down and uh, I want to show you you can choose a, a wall in green you can have a whole wall in green at your home and uh, and you can say okay I don't need any artwork I paint my wall green is this the same like this energy what do you think for your own It's not so easy to decide because um, if you are in the room and you see the origin, then you will have the real feeling there is a big difference. But via this online uh, story, um, it is not uh, so easy to see the many different kinds of paint st uh, strokes and um, the difference uh, in your eye is not so uh, deep but um, this is a thing about origin and uh, online format okay but um, if you have seen it in the middle of the um, red magenta tone you see an energy um, is coming up and how long you look on this um, artwork um, you feel the energy more and more and um, it is like an um, pulsing energy I I show you near you can see the strokes perhaps although they are very fine I don't know if you can see it the light is not so perfect in this moment and you see um, the magenta tone but there's also another red inside okay I don't know if you can see it um, yes the magenta the color of the magenta um, has a, an impact on us as humans and in, in um, other times um, people doesn't al be allowed to use magenta magenta is a color used by popes and um, very um, about the sovereignty the kings and those persons and other persons are not allowed to use that in their life not as a color on their clothes and not as a color in their home and um, this is a, a, a very um, wealthy color magenta and uh, nowadays in in contemporary times um, magenta is a um, very important color because um, magenta um, gave us an impact in our feeling to be 
grounded to the earth and be um, com uh, connected to heaven and um, this is an um, energy um, which um, give us an, an, an standing <laughs> like an king or like a very important person okay um, did you have some questions about this please uh, send me a note or please give me a little uh, hello okay um, if you want to have more wealth in your life, that you feel it, that you feel it more than before, then it will be good if you have magenta in your life. But magenta, only magenta, isn't enough energy because the artist can make the energy of magenta more sensitive that you're you can catch it from the, the artwork and um, in this artwork is also another energy i show you again and this is the the red more red tone and this more red tone, this is an energy which if you are in front of the um, original artwork, you feel it. It is like feeling your heartbeat pulsing and your energy of your heart zone. Um, is more um, yes how to say encouraged and uh, you feel more and um, this is the main focus in my artwork uh, I want to nourish the art watcher watcher I want to nourish the art lovers and I want to encourage your heart zone because my art is not only for your mind my art is also for your heart and in this time um, in the art world there are many many um, art critic they um, can say you they can say much about artworks but in this artworks there are no soul food energy they are only void they are blank but there's a big name around this, but there's no nourishing energy in it. And um, you feel it in front the artwork. When you are in, in front of an artwork and you feel um, nothing or you um, feel that you want to ask about um, why and what is the meaning and um, you are searching you are searching the energy of the artwork okay but some people for them it is not enough to have only color they need more they need something they they um, can 
imagine more, they have more um, imp a deeper impression. And um, some uh, people, for them, it is not enough to have color and different kinds of color. They need uh, uh, something they can, it is recognizable. And um, in my earlier times when I paint, I, um, in, I paint um, artwork where you can see landscape, you can see cloth or you can see um, um, dynamic energy of a landscape. You see water, you see light on water. And uh, <clears throat> and in this episode, I ha I show you one um, art piece. Now it is in my bag. I show you now. Okay, um, this is in a object frame, and there is a glass uh, in front. And you can see um, a cloth hanging down to earth, <laughs> hanging um, on paper. It is on paper and you see um, the paper is vivid, not plain. And um, you see magenta uh, color but you see also more you see something like an um, pattern and this pattern is patterned from a fig the leaves of a fig and the story is that um, the leaves of the fig are from a very ancient and historical tree. Yes, the story of this artwork is that I made um, the ground of the artwork. This is the only one. This is not, there are no others. And um, I made this with a fig leaf pattern. And the fig leaf I get from India, from the, <clears throat> the tree of the Buddha, where Buddha came to um, enlightenment. And um, this um, leaves I get uh, um, and then I made this as a pattern and with this pattern I make a uptalk. I don't know the word. <laughs> I made it on a, on the paper and um, I pressed it on the paper and colored the paper with color with magenta tone. And when you now see um, to the original, you see, um, you see, a totally different art of magenta um, energy. And this um, energy is more um, it is a force of dignity But the most 
point of this uh, the the important point of this artwork is that there is devotion in it and um, your um, impression is when you have the possibility to look or to be with this artwork you come in a devotional energy and this devotional energy gives you um, uh, shifts you and nourish your soul because we not so often have devotional en energy <laughs> um, okay yeah um these are now art criteria nourishing art criteria i um, give you some examples for that um, to invest in art which nourish your soul and your mind and your heart and which are sustainable longer than this days um, if you want um, to know more about this st sustainable art criteria and about this art mission um, which survive um, temporary crisis and your time. Um, please stay connected in my art newsletter and entry on my homepage and um, christinedarendorf.com and then, then you will get my newsletter uh, Poetry of Color and uh, I send emails to you with the new works and uh, with new art criteria and you can learn more about this art mission um, and um, I it will be fine to connect with you and if there's no question more then I will say goodbye and wish you a nice weekend and um, have a good time and yes and bye bye